Hare Krishna. Namaste. My name is Bhakti Mark Swami, also known as the Walking Monk. And I'd love to do pranams for you, but I can't do it right now. A pranams means when you put your hands together in salutation to another person, that's showing respect. And I can't really do that right now because in between my hands is a moth. And if I do that, I will crush the moth. And I don't want it to be prematurely incarnated, if you know what I mean. Okay, maybe you don't know what I mean. First of all, let's let the moth go and be free, and then I can do a pranams. After all, why should I keep a moth trapped in my hands? You know, that's not very nice. It's very cruel. He deserves to be free. Okay, so let's let him go. Oh, my God. He, well, he was here. Trust me, like Scout's Honor, uh, you know, Krishna, Vishnu, <laughs> he was here. Now, I have got some young people here, and they were, we all observed the moth, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And um, we have to understand a few interesting things about uh, living entities such as a moth. Uh, at least it had two wings from what I could see, and he moves very fast. And uh, there's a life force in him, and that's what allows him to move around. Probably he's moving around so that he's looking for food. He's looking for, um, well, he's looking for maybe a place to just retire for the night, just sleep. Maybe he's attracted to the, to the lights in the, in, the, in the room here, and he likes to go there where the moths are. Moths love light, and they love fire and they don't know it's going to be their end when they get into the fire and it goes their bodies explode that's not nice to talk about but anyways inside the body of a moth is a spirit an atma and it has all good qualities unfortunately that spirit that atma is himself trapped in a body and he has to go through the birth and death and old age and disease process. And it is kind of like a little bit like part of being part of a cycle, a vicious one even, a vicious cycle of a going through birth, death, old age and disease. And um, prior to being a moth, he was something else. And after being a moth, he will be in another life form, hopefully a little more progressed. Uh, in the next successive life. So the point is that this little soul goes through an evolution. The soul goes through the evolution of being in a very small one-celled creature form and then moves into the next, then it's segued into the next form and finally it reaches after many lifetimes becomes a human being. And when the soul takes on the human form of life, then it's possible to do extraordinary things that even a moth can't do. So we, have, we need to value the human form of life. Humans can do incredible things. Sometimes they do absolute obnoxious things. But what we try to do in our wonderful world of what we call Sanatana Dharma, or God consciousness, Krishna consciousness, is to evolve, to, to grow, to spiritually develop and cultivate the good qualities that are, let's say, uh, that are, we're prone as humans to, to embrace, you know, such as tolerance and patience and being straightforward and being honest and and being very clear and clean and yes working towards purity and showing utmost R-E-S-P-E-C-T does anybody know what that R-E-S-P-E-C-T what's that spell it spells respect right so this is from the little moth and I I know we'll find him again we'll find him somewhere in the atmosphere of this cozy living room here in Brampton Ontario Canada and somehow or other we'll examine him again and we'll see that here's a little spirit soul and, and we're gonna try to help him with his evolution i think what we can do what do you think when we get him 
if we can capture him. And we just can, for a minute, what can we do for him? We can what, release him. We can release him, but I only re I released him already, if I release him a second no, outside. time. Outside. Outside, well, I think he probably likes to be inside. You know, there's an attraction to being inside here. Because if we capture him again, we can do, we can do some singing for him. Like we can chant a mantra. We can do what's called kirtan, you know, and he can hear it. Do, do moths hear? I don't know. Let's Google it. Hare Krishna. <laughs>